My name is Reva Lavoy, and God gave me the vision for Manifested Miracles a long time ago when I was a little girl, always wanting to help people, wanting to get people to believe in God, getting people to see that there's the hope in so many different things. And once I became, as I got older and became hopeless myself in my situations and circumstances, that's when I began to realize that if God gave me a chance to endure and to survive and even the op opportunity to overcome, that I wanted to offer that to someone else. So when I was able to get the resources that I needed from one of my hopeless situations that turned into a miracle, and that was my first truck accident that um, has had me confined to a wheelchair for 20 years now, I took those resources and renovated a building that God would give me an opportunity to renovate lives. And that's why even our motto is rebuilding lives one miracle at a time. Manifested Miracles is a seven month live-in program. It's a program for women that have substance abuse issues, battered women, single moms, women that might just be homeless or hopeless. It's an opportunity for them to have a solid foundation in God for whatever they may have to face in the world. It allows them to have an opportunity to regain their hope or to gain hope for the first time through us believing in them and having the hope for them until they're strong enough to do so for themselves. We have various classes from the 12-step biblical perspective. We also have higher education, whether it's for them to regain their GED or to pick up a trade or to go to college. We also offer basic computer classes, all these different things to give them the tools they need to believe in themselves and to find their purpose here on earth through God. How can somebody like this, just like you, just like Linda, just like Lauren, just like Reva, how could Jesus pick somebody that had just betrayed him? Some of the ways that we help the women after seven months or usually really after five months, we start to set goals with them on possibly job placement or if they want to get their GED, if they want to go back to college or start you know, a college education or maybe just pick up a quick trade, if they want to start their own business, whatever way that we can support them. We also try our best to get them reunited with their families, get them restored for their families to see that they have been transformed. They are a manifested miracle. So there's various ways. Also, we have transitional housing. We have a house that was bought by one of our family members next door to make sure that there was other options for them after they graduate. So there is different ways that um, we make sure that the ladies have a stable foundation and we just don't have them go out the doors. Some of the problems or issues that we have for the ministry is that God has allowed me the opportunity to put in all of my resources and we do even have some that donate. We have a couple that actually donate consistently every month. But getting our name out there and getting um, more consistent funding to help support something so major, we're able to house 15 women. But right now we can only go up to about seven to 10 to make sure there's food on the table, to make sure all the things that they need, school supplies for the various classes, transportation and gas to get them to their doctor's appointments and whatever else um, needs that they may have. Um, so right now we're asking that everybody try their best to support our various businesses, our various um, ways of making money, such as we cut yards. Our ladies are learning how to cut yards and doing landscaping. We have others that work in our corner store that do catering, cashiering. We also have some small businesses that God allowed us to be able to support. Uh, three other women in their businesses. We have Pure Beauty. They actually are three different stylists that actually do amazing work with hair. We also have a barber. And her name of her business is You Deserve It. She's been actually been a barber for over 20 years. And then we have also someone that does nails, manicures, pedicures. And the name of her business is Cache Nails. Whatever way that you would love to come support, you can actually sow a seed and support us and also still get one of your, your needs done. My hopes and dreams for Manifested Miracles, as well as for the director, Renata Berrier, is to make sure that we can expand this across the world. Definitely down south, I'd love to see Manifested Miracles in other places of New Orleans or here in Louisiana, as well as in Georgia, Texas, possibly Alabama. But if we can go all the way up to up north, 
to across the world just for more people to be exposed of what we're doing, possibly opening up more businesses for ladies to just gain the hope that they need, that no matter what their issues have been, their setbacks may be, it's not over.